Included in this online TOEFL course at no extra cost, Speak Clearly helps students to speak more naturally. Michael Buckoff, Speak Clearly course creator, has more than 20 years of TOEFL and accent reduction teaching at California State University San Bernardino. First of all, students complete a diagnostic pretest after which a TOEFL pronunciation specialist diagnoses specific problems with vowel and consonant sounds. Then the students are directed to specific video lessons during which they can record voice recordings of the practice exercises. Second of all, after students have mastered the vowel and consonant sounds, they complete a second pretest after which a TOEFL pronunciation specialist diagnoses specific problems with syllable division and grammatical word endings, word stress, sentence rhythm, intonation, and thought groups and blending. Like before, these students are directed to specific video lessons to help them speak more clearly and students complete vo voice recordings of the practice exercises. Third of all, after the completion of the two pretests, students complete a final post-test at the end of the pronunciation section of this online TOEFL course. A trained TOEFL pronunciation specialist evaluating students one more time performs a final assessment of students' intelligibility. The pronunciation specialist recommends some long-term best practices to help students continue to improve their pronunciation and fluency of American English. The following is an actual sample of two voice recordings. This is the first recording posted by a student who had recently joined this online TOEFL course. Voice recording exercise two. Due to the three minutes of violent shaking, landslides in Anchorage caused heavy damage. Hill slides occurred in the downtown business section, at Government Hill and at Tanagain Heights. The largest and most devastating landslides occurred at Tanagain Heights. An area of about 130 acres were devastated by displacements that broke the ground in many derailed blocks that were collapsed and tilted at all angles. This slide destroyed about 75 private houses, water mains and gas, sewer, telephone, and electrical systems were disrupted throughout the area. The second recording was posted four weeks after the first one. Voice recording exercise two. Depending on the accuracy of the measurements, estimates range from at least 4,000 to 6,000 languages in the world. Either way, this is still quite a large number. Usually languages vary greatly in size. We go all the way from English and Spanish with hundreds of millions of speakers around the world. Even more, if we count all those who use one of these regularly as a second language, down to small languages spoken by a few thousand or a few hundred people, many go down lower than this. Some languages are spoken natively by only a couple dozen or so people. Verging on extinction, languages like this may go down to a single speaker. One primary goal of the pronunciation section of this online TOEFL course is to get students used to speaking about academic content. Students practice sentence and paragraph readings of academic content and get feedback from a TOEFL pronunciation specialist. Voice recording exercise one. Got it. More than 36 years after he made history as the first American to orbit the Earth, Senator John H. Glenn Jr. will return to space as a part of a multinational crew with launch of Space Shuttle Discovery in late October. Okay, not too bad. Number two. 
scientific endeavors on STS-95 mission are not limited to furthering an understanding of the human body but also will expand our understanding of the closest star to our planet, the Sun, and how it affects life on Earth. The one word here is the actual the T sound not limited to <coughs> remember when the T's in the beginning of a word you don't pronounce it as a flap or a D sound it's not do but limited to number three <coughs> excuse me the Achilles tendon is the large tendon located on the back of the leg that it inserts I'm sorry that inserts into the heel number right. four okay starting in the late 1970s I developed techniques that integrate the experiment experimental rigor of the laboratory with what little was then known about parrot communication in nature yeah a lot of trouble with this one with your pacing and things but a few words too integrated rigor okay let's read this again starting in the late <coughs> oh, excuse me starting in the late 1970s I developed techniques that integrated the experimental rigor of the laboratory with what little was then known about para communication in nature number five although a few other species of bats move readily on the ground and some takes off from the ground no others no at some take there's no s there because it means some bats so and some take off from the ground species possesses the extreme no no other species possess not possesses you see that this is actually plural so this should be plural so you don't say possesses it's no other species possess Industrial agility and jumping ability of vampire bats. Okay, this word, terrestrial, terrestrial agility and jumping ability of vampire bats. All right, let's do these one more time. More than 36 years after he made.